got the left tower, and hers are locked, so I'm going to unlock them. Okay, so the left tower, I'm going to duplicate it. And in the center tower, I'm going to duplicate it. And the right tower, I'm going to duplicate it. So now I have my three duplicates. I'm going to go back to the originals and lock them and leave them down there. So on my duplicates, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my prop window, which is the second icon. And if you notice, when I click on these, so this one, you had uh, the original one uh, cropped. I'm going to go back to full screen. But on these other ones, they're full screen already. What we want to do is, instead of shaping it ourselves and cropping it ourselves, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on show all. So it'll show me all of my squares. And then I'm going to click on copy from output. And look what happens up here to the crop window when I do that. It matches where it is down here. Okay. So then I'm going to do that to the center tower and click copy from output. It's going to put it where it needs to be put. And then the right tower, and I'm going to do the same thing, copy from output. So now, all I'm doing is I'm creating a duplicate of my map surfaces in the cropping window. So now I'm going to go back to my mapping program, and I'm going to send it this video here. And actually, I'm going to create a output, and I'm going to name it blend. And uh, yeah, I'm going to connect all of those to it. And I'm going to send that to the blend. And now what it's doing is it's sending it and it's blending it across. But I'm only seeing that portion of the video. So the same example like earlier with the music video, I'm not taking full advantage of the real estate here because it's cropped. So now what I'm going to do, and this is the part that people always forget, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this full screen in the background. I'm going to open up the mapping program, and I'm going to bring it down in size. I'm going to move it over to the side, like right here, so I can see the background. And then I'm going to click on Edit for that one. That's going to open up my edit window. I'm going to move that over here out of the way so I can see the position and the background. This will allow me to work all on one screen and see it live happening in the background. So now I'm going to create a new preset and I'm going to name it Blend. So now I'm going to start with my Z position and I'm going to shrink it down. And see what happens when I shrink it down? It's just making the whole thing smaller. So now that I got it uh, a good small size, I'm going to use the X and the Y to move it around and position it over my scenic pieces. And I still can make it smaller. That's pretty tight there already. But now I see more of the video. It makes sense. I understand what I'm showing now. And that's going across all my scenic pieces. So I already created a new preset. Now I've adjusted it. Now I'm going to hit save. Okay. Close that. Bring that back up here. And these three are now here, cropped. And that's how I create a blend without having to create any masks to mask out those center pieces. So once again, I get my originals, 
that I never touch, they're full screen, create duplicates of them, open up my crop window, show all, and then hit copy from output on each one of the duplicates. Then I take the Media Master, I move it to the side, open up the edit window, create a new preset for my position, and play around with the position to get it around this. Does that make sense? Everybody got that? Okay, so now what I want you to do is exactly what I did with that motion loop on your own. 